Hello YouTube, this is Shirley426 and today we have the review of the 52 Toys Beast Box War Mail. Uh, once again, this arrived really recently and I like there's a lot of stuff to mention regarding this specific Beast Box as well. So, uh, as usual, let's go over the components. So first of all, let's look at the box first because I think the box definitely mentions would you know save me some time explaining. So here we have the box. It's your typical size box. You can see the artwork here. Although you might see something extremely large on the background. We'll get into that later. So uh, once again, I think this this I'm not. I guess it's really obvious at this point. But this thing is a combiner. But being a combiner, that means you need more more components so more stuff so this guy isn't the only guy you need you technically need four units uh which this is the first one they released and after this guy actually arrived at my house they started the pre-order for the second unit that you need for this com uh, this combined form which is kind of interesting but still yeah i just wanted to mention that so here we have the name uh once again the you know the names or uh, the pronunciations are very interesting but who knows what maybe there's another meaning to them as well all right, so here we have the background going on here. So here we have the, the, the design team and then the main uh, engineer guy. So uh, once again, I, I believe there was a video explaining like who these guys are most because I remember some of these were actually some people from Hasbro, especially from their Transformers, you know, design team. So who knows? So here we have on the back of the box image here, we have like the combined form. So basically there, there are four hounds and if you combine it, they become this mech destroyer t-rex kind of looking thing i mean it looks amazing although you know uh, my biggest question is now i haven't really done a combiner or beast box yes technically there was the eight combiner but i never actually finished those guys because i never bought the other half but hopefully i can finish this time and yeah although in this picture they show you guys in one color but technically uh, ideally what you want to do i mean this would be the ideal color but basically there are four hounds uh, but there are two, there's only two different styles. One is this Dobermount style, and then uh, there's going to be two units of this guy. So there's going to be this color, and then there's going to be a variant in red and black with slight different details. Those guys will combine to became, become the main body, the head and the tail area. And then there's going to be these Bulldogs. Once again, there's going to be two variants. They're going to become the legs of here. So if you actually buy, you know, different stuff, then you're going to have a mixture of colors of red and black. But once again, you could technically buy two of this guy and two of the same bulldogs and make them into one color of your preference so that is that so once again before we go over the box itself let's look at the other stuff that you're supposed to get so number one you get the card once again i really do like enjoy collecting collecting these cards as well they're kind of fun to just collect and i really like the artwork and on the background or on the back side they actually kind of explain some sort of a lore regarding these guys so once again there's there mine came with this weird smudge going on here but once again um um my camera is kind of having a hard time focusing so let me just actually dim uh, let me dim the lights a bit there we go so if you want to read it uh you can kind of read it out if you want to do so um by pausing so yeah and then looking at the stats here we have the defense and uh, defense is kind of low for what this is but intelligence you know mediocre speed very high courage high and strength also kind of on the middle side once again there's no um usage for these cards as far as i know and i do know 52 toys did release a board game or kind of a card game regarding these but i'm not sure if this they use the same cards as these because that also comes with its own unique cards all right, so as usual, they do give you the, the PVC card and the instruction manual for the PVC card. So what this is meant for is basically you have fold it in half. Oh, sorry about that. You are supposed to fold it in half like this, and then you're supposed to put it in the back of the, uh, the box charger inside so that it actually, when you put it in there and when you open up the box charger, it actually pushes out. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on how you did the transformation to the cube form. So yeah, and I usually don't like, I don't tend to use these as well. And here we get a catalog once again. Uh, we do get an updated catalog as well. Here is that part of the eight combiner. And here we get the manual. Now the instruction manual shows both ways from box to beast form or beast to box form. It also shows that form as well. And then it also has the instruction manuals for the combined form as well, both ways. Uh, all right, so uh, let's look at the cube right away. So once again, I'm not gonna show you guys the transformation process because for this guy, I would say you're, you might need some experience with the, the previous products to, to, you know, to get used to these as well. But still, uh, once again, they did a really good job on the compact you know, design here. The cube form actually works pretty well. Now there is one part that, that is kind of worrying me regarding the transformation, but hopefully it's just me overreacting. 
Once again, they did a really good job on the cube format as well. Once again, and engineering is top notch. I I don't think I've ever seen any other you know company that goes engineering like this far. And here we have the box charger. Once again, I really love the concept of these because you can actually put them in here. That means they won't get any dust itself. And then you can also stack them on top of each other or you can connect them by side by side. So really cool concept. And one thing I want to, I guess this is technically a leftover piece, but basically mine, when I opened the box, this piece fell off and I don't think this belongs to this guy. I've been searching around and I have not seen a piece that lo looks like this at all. I've seen some... Even the instruction manual does not show anything like this. So my guess this got mixed up with something else. So if anybody knows what this is or where this is from, do let me know. All right, so I'll be right back with the hound form and let's, let's see what we got. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the hound form. I absolutely love this form factor as well. And obviously you can see this is like the concept of this is basically a police canine Doberman like this concept color going on here. I think they really nailed the design for the dog. Um, usually it's really hard to you know get that you know specific characteristics of a specific animal or a pet uh, but I think they did an excellent job regarding that. Uh, and some people were actually uh, well they weren't actually asking me but I've seen on the community where they were asking or they were kind of wasn't sure like the size regarding this thing. So here is next to my recent review a typical 1 to 144 scale Gumpla kit. Uh, you can definitely see it's big. And height wise, you can see this thing can practically, if you want, if you, this guy needed a, you can kind of make the Gundam ride this like a horse if you want, if you want to be like more specific. But still, yeah, I think this is uh, size wise, it is very good and just really, like, really like surprises me that you can make this into a five centimeter perfect cube in transformation. All right, so let's see what we got on this guy. So let's start with the start with the head. And once again, yet um, I, even after doing this transformation like three to four times, I cannot still find. I don't think this piece belongs to this guy. So just saying. All right, so here we have the head. So uh, loving the head. Now the the second the variant of this guy, which I did pre-order uh, two days ago. Uh, it's going to be a red black color scheme and the head while this guy has a visor which i do love uh the red variant will actually have eyes like a typical you know animal going on here so uh that is one thing uh so here we have the head definitely loving the design here the ears once again i don't know why but they are different styles and colors and designs so uh very well done they can move it up and down that but that's mostly for the transformation going on here the head can go up a lot. If you lose the neck, you can go all the way up, staring upwards 90 degrees and going down. Oops, sorry about that. I should not put pressure there. You can go down a bit, but uh, if you go a certain down, that this piece is going to fall off. So, which I'll get into later. But basically, this is the way how I understood it is a bone. This is kind of like a bone item. I'm not sure like the actual usage of this as a. I'm not sure if this is a weapon or some sort of device, but still. Yeah, but as long as you don't go too much down, you can go down all the way like this. And using the balls on the head, you can go inwards like this. Now, you can technically go more if you take away the bone, but that's mostly for the transformation as well. So, really well done. And then you can move, you can open the mouth all the way, all the way. So, once again, I always mention this, but when the Torado, the tiger first came out, I was, as much as I was satisfied with it, the only thing that, I, that bugged me was the fact that it can only open the mouth like this much. They fixed that very well, so really happy about that. Now you can see there's these joints going on here, even these ports. But once again, these are mostly for the uh, you know the combined form. So once again, I don't, I'm not gonna mention them too much. So uh, the legs, once again, they did a really good job here. Uh, each this, the front legs are connected as ball joints, so nothing to nothing can go wrong. You can go 360. You can bend this. Uh, there's a first joint here and then there's another second joint downwards as well and the feet are ball jointed as far as I can tell so yeah and then you can also rotate this part around which is impossible for a real dog or an animal but still this is mostly for the transformation for the uh, box form so that's that uh, yeah and once again the balance is very well done although for this is just a personal thing anything that would have that has four legs I do have some trouble trouble sometimes like posing them because I'm not used to the old form factor all right, so uh, now let's look at the chest area. So you can open this chest up. Once again, um, it reveals this device. I'm not sure if this is a bone, remote control, or I have zero clue what this is. But but, but basically in the promo pictures or the prom promotional images, we definitely saw this guy like 
they definitely did something like this so I, I guess it's just a fun factor as well and this can be actually stored into the uh, box chart uh, into the box form as well so that's really well done all right so once again i think one, one of the biggest aspects that made this guy get the uh police you know design i think it's because of these lights here or not lights but these pieces here so these are actually separate pieces so this is there is a bit part for parts forming going on here so you gotta plug them in but themselves actually have really good articulation here so obviously this being a peg you can actually move this guy around and you can move the second joint as well being on the peg and a ball jointed red light going on here so or red plastic sorry about that so yeah pretty well done and uh, i believe now the second the red variant also has this but will be you help you have to attach it onto the leg if i remember correctly now for the main body now i'm not sure if this is supposed to count as articulation because you use this only for the transformation but there is a ratchet joint on the middle that you can go down although i'm not too happy with the way how the strength is it's a bit unstable to me or that there is a joint there but i'm slightly worried about how strong that joint is and then the ratchets here i'm not sure how long they're going to survive there so yeah if you know how ratchet joints work you know what i mean all right now looking at the legs here so other than that i think that's pretty much it uh, other than the fact that you can rotate the main body sorry for the squeak noise i know that does bug a lot of people and there's a few more ports going on here but nothing too special now for the back legs here so our articulation is kind of interesting here so once again you have this part that can rotate around but mostly for the transformation and you can extend you can extend this joints out to get more articulation although i don't think this is meant for the dog articulation here and you have the back legs that can go that can bend forward as well and if you you can technically go a little bit backwards but you're gonna have to open up this cover to get more articulation here and feet are your typical ball jointed feet going on here and yeah and you can extend this joint and move a little bit interestingly as well now uh the back legs once again have this interesting system going on here so the the main connection here is a ball joint right over here but there's also these all these hinges systems that you use for the transformation as well so and this is yeah there's a lot of parts that move around so managing the back legs would be i think would be the most tricky part for any first time is getting this uh getting the beast box line and, and if you decide to get this one for your first one so there's going to be a few tricky parts but i don't think i don't think they're going to be too problematic if you ask me and there is finally the tail so that can go up and down but you can also fold it all the way in for the transformation all right, so we've seen the basics of the kit uh, of the unit, and I think I really love the design here, and I think I'm going to enjoy the red variants as well. All right, so we've seen the basics of the guy. I'll be right back with the uh, com for the uh, combined form as well. So this guy can either become the the lower end of the uh, main body or the top head of the body. So I'll start with the the tail section. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the end tail section of the combined form. So the transformation was actually pretty simple for what it was. So here, this is supposed to be the lower half of the body. So this part is technically the tail. Now, since if you were to make this part or fully finish the, com uh, the combined form, there would be another front half here. And then obviously you have two bones on each side. They actually considered, they actually thought about the bone storage moment as well. So on the process, I actually found something interesting is that there, the leg joints, you can actually extend. So it was like this and you would open up the leg. So you can actually extend these parts out. So which means this, you actually have more leg articulation going on here as well. So that's actually pretty cool as well. Although I do wish uh, there, these two parts, there's no way to connect these two parts together. So I, I, I do wish there was some sort of a you know middle joints so this would you know lock into place but oh well the way how but for what this is they actually did a pretty good job so once again here was the half end let me i'll be right back with the front head part now so once again since i only have this but when i review this for the next time for the red variant i'll just go through directly to the combined form right away so i'll be right back okay so here we have the front half of the combined form so obviously i think this definitely looks much more menacing so i think these yellow parts are the eyes and obviously the red parts are teeth and yeah the transformation was actually pretty simple although the manual kind of made it slightly confusing but still it worked out pretty well now the um now just to remind now don't try to force the ratchet joint here there is a limit on how far it can go up there is another joint here although it may not look like a joint at first but there is another part that can uh, move around that can kind of rotate here so which doesn't really show too well when in the beast mode well when in the canine mode 
uh, yeah, it doesn't really show that well. But once again, these joints can be extremely stiff at first, so do be careful when you're uh, you know dealing with them. So yeah, this being the front uh, part. So here we have the ports here. So if you have the second half, you connect them them together as well. So the bulldogs will form the legs, which is pretty simple. And I'm well, I'm pretty sure if you're a little bit more creative, I think you can. If you're a little bit desperate, you can find you know alternatives to make the legs with other stuff as well. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the review. So this was the review of the Beast Box Romeo. So once again, I, I'm really uh, excited for the red one to uh, come over as soon as possible. And then when the Bulldogs also take pre-orders, I'll be ready for them as well. And yes, I have actually pre-ordered the Beast Drive as well. So I'm waiting for those as well. And yes, I have seen the upcoming updates for the other Beast Drives as well. Anyway, if you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.